What is going on everybody? It's Mark here with another video and we are finally going to talk about iOS 11. So the main reason behind why I didn't make a video in the past in regards to iOS 11 is because it was in beta. A lot of the time beta kind of wonky, you know, not not 100%, but in this case it was, so I should have made a video. Anyways, not the point of the story. The point of the story is we are going to be taking a look at some of the features that I found interesting, you probably already find interesting, but I'll put my twist on it and let's Let's go from there. So the first thing that you will realize when opening a device with iOS 11 is how much different the visual aspect of it is. So even unlocking your device is significantly more pleasant than regular. So much smoother and the animation for the icons, top notch. I find it a lot more visually appealing, not so slow. I mean, it has a lot more RAM and better processor, so everything's a lot smoother than the previous generation iPhones. But to me, it just works quick, easy, beautiful animation. But you'll also notice that the icons are significantly different in some cases. The biggest one I noticed was the calculator icon, looks completely different. And also the actual calculator application looks significantly different. And similar changes like this are throughout iOS 11. Another thing that I really enjoy about iOS 11 is a visual experience, if you will, is it's multitasking. Even multitasking, just double clicking, the way it animates from the left, you can swipe, it's very smooth, very fluid, very organic almost. One, one thing that I didn't notice until after watching a couple reviews online and actually using it for a while is that there's no text on the bottom toolbar, taskbar. It's just the icons. I didn't notice that until literally like 45 minutes before shooting this video. Interesting fact, I didn't know. The App Store in iOS 11 is ridiculously beautiful looking and very user friendly. So you get greeted by this Today tab where you have all the apps of the day. All the big apps that the App Store wants to push out are gonna be there. It's gonna be very, very good for advertising, very good for game developers, very good for application developers to actually have a big card almost of what their app is. Very interesting to scroll through. Then you have a games tab, apps tab, which is kind of just general where you can just scroll through everything. And of course, updates and search. But to me, like just the way you interact with the app store now is significantly more user friendly, more user interactive than before. You got bigger images, you got bigger text. It's very newspaper-y-ish where you have cards and actual sections. Hey Siri, how are you? The updates to Siri in iOS 11 are a little bit better than marginally better, but nothing astronomical. I personally think it was a good touch. She sounds better, or he, depends on what voice you have. It sounds better, they sound better, it understands better, and it's much more responsive, like right away. Hey Siri, what's one plus one? One plus one is two. Thank you, Siri. It's much more rapid, it's much more fluid, it works a lot better. Plus, you can actually tap and edit the text in case she didn't pick up, he didn't pick up what you were saying. You can actually edit that and put in what you wanted to ask in the first place. Second last thing I wanna bring up is the control center. Obviously, to get into the control center, you swipe from the bottom and there it is. That's a familiar movement to us, but the actual visual interface changed significantly. Instead of having two places to swipe, you got everything in one, which I, I think is a great idea because everything's just at your fingertips, it's great. You got your music, you got your volume over here, you got your brightness, and you got a whole bunch of features that you normally would look for in your control center. And in addition, you have all the toggles for cellular, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, airplay mode, all in one little thing. And if you tap it, you can also get into personal hotspot. Just the, the range of things you can do out of the control center has significantly increased in my opinion, not to mention that it's customizable. So if you go into settings, you can go to control center, customize controls, and there's a whole bunch of things that you can put in there that will allow you to use your phone to the way you want it. Last thing. I wanna talk about iOS 11. The screenshots. This is a small one, but it's a nice touch. For example, just like in previous generations of iOS, you can take a screenshot pressing the home button and the hold button at the same time. Screenshot. But now, instead of it going straight to the photo gallery, you have it in the bottom left corner where you can quickly tap on it, annotate as you so desire, 
and from there you can share it or save it. Up to you. Another thing worth mentioning for the screenshot is that you can do multiple screenshots in a sequence and have them all there in the bottom left corner for you to customize, annotate, save, put together. Okay, so those are just a few things that I thought were worth mentioning. These aren't new things. You guys heard this before. I just felt like putting in my two cents. Thanks for watching, but for now, hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video. And as always, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found in the description. But for now, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.